guys and welcome to a lockdown live. I'm going to do a really simple year one activity today for you. What we're going to do is we're going to look at some number bonds. Um, firstly, starting with number bonds to 10 and then I'm going to show you something a little bit more towards 20. These are going to be really useful and really easy to set up for any children you've got in year one. Could be for reception children as well and could also be useful for children moving up to year two um, because some of the skills here are relative and can be converted into different and bigger numbers. So, first thing I'm going to show you is a bar model. Bar model is something really, really useful for getting the actual concept of mathematics, for showing how maths actually works, how numbers actually work. And this is a really simple thing that you can do at home because you can just literally draw this on paper in the same way. So if we accept that this top bar is worth 10, the full length of that is 10, then this bottom bar can be broken into different groups, in different sections. Here I've got these different coloured pieces. I'm going to make two different bars that equal 10. So if we accept that each one of these is worth 1, because what I've done is divided this up into 10, each one is worth 1, then we can start looking with children at how, if we've got, say, 4, how many pink are we going to need now to complete a bar of 10? And you can have children just sort of count that along. So we've already got 4. We need another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six obviously the bigger i leave these gaps the worse this is going to work um so you can kind of just see that our bar has 10 now across the bottom and 10 along the top which is four and six because four add six equals 10. you can divide that up in any number of different ways so you could decide that you're going to start off with three and ask children to find out how many need to be added to three to make 10 and then they can just literally count across, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but they would count across and find that it's seven that fits in that bar. Different ways you could extend or use this in other ways. You could just use a dice, something really simple like that, and say, if I already have five, how many do I need to roll to try and complete it? If they roll a four, is that going to complete the ten? No, it's not. They're going to discover that it only makes nine and so on. So they can just sort of start revising because the sooner they can learn these number bonds by heart, the easier it's going to be for them to extend upwards, the easier it's going to be when addition gets larger because those same number bonds to 10, such as 7 and 3 making 10, works in the same way if you have something like 17 and 3 makes 20, and so on. 70 and 30 makes 100. These are all the kind of number bonds that you can apply higher up. So I'm going to show you a second activity, and this one's also, again, literally just... I'm trying to limit this to as many things as you can do if all you have is pen and paper or card, pencil, that kind of thing. So I've just cut up some squares, and this is a really simple memory game. So if I turn over and I find 9, to make my number 1 to 10, I know that the number I'm looking for is 1. So I'll turn over again, and i got 3. So if I have 9 and 3, if I try and remember that I've got 9 here and 3 here, you know I'm going to forget this because I'm live and there's too much pressure. Then I can turn over 2. Well, I knew that was 9 and that was 3, so I know it's not going to be one of those. And 6... Of course, this had to be really hard when I'm doing it live. So zero, so I know that the number I'm hoping to turn over with zero is 10. I really don't know where anything is. And I've got four. But if I remember from earlier, I had a six somewhere that would go with that four. I'm going to be completely honest here and say that I actually can't remember where that was. Okay, six there. And if I remember that, six and four makes 10. So I've completed one of my number bonds to 10. Six and four makes 10. And then I can carry on with the same memory game, 2 and 7. But I remember that 3 was there, 7's there. So I've completed another number bond to 10. And it's just a really simplistic, sort of basic way of memorising what some of these number bonds to 10 actually are. So I know I've got 3 and 7, 6 and 4. <laughs> I'm just turning over the same ones I've already done now. How smart am I? Um... But if I start getting 10, I oh know 0 was somewhere, 10 and 0. And then I can start getting to a point where I've almost completed my memory. And again, you could easily do this for 20. You just need to... Um, <laughs> why did I put this much pressure on myself? If you do it to 20, you just need obviously more pieces to do that you can do number ones up to 20 with. And I said I was also going to take a look at number ones to 20. One of the things to consider is how a part whole model works. So if I have 20 in the top there, I need to decide how many would go in each part to make 20. You could do all sorts of different games with this. 
you could use the same counters if you made it big enough. You could use the same counters to try and add up to 20. Or you could just challenge and do dots and just say, if I have five dots there, how many dots am I going to need to draw in this one? And then children can count the total of them together to decide if what they have makes 20 or not. So I just thought I'd show you some really simple ways of getting some number bond work into your home learning environment that doesn't need loads of resources, that just needs pen, paper, and a little bit of imagination. These are really, really useful for everything as children move up through school. Something that if they learn them by heart, everything's going to become much simpler. Uh, Ellen has just commented to say that it's really important that they learn them off by heart. It helps with future addition and subtraction. And it's completely true, Eleanor. The more you know of these, the more you know them by heart, the more you can just recite them straight off. Because as an adult, you probably would just do it off the top of your head. Young children don't have that yet. The faster they learn it, the easier maths becomes. Everyone can do mathematics. Learning these little foundations are what help with the building later on. Whew, that's all from us. Thanks very much.